You're proud to be a Muslim. Are you proud that your property went to his own son, wife, when the husband was away and he flirted with her and later he effed her, according to your books? I'm proud. And we are proud of it. So why you don't call me and tell me what are you proud about? Oh, maybe you are proud that in heaven you can have whatever you wish, which means having sex with boys and men. And I can confirm that from your prophet. Isn't it your prophet, he said, that in the heaven there is a market, a bazaar, and in this bazaar uh, there is nothing to buy or to sell except images of men and women. And if a man he like an image, he enter it and he if it. Are you proud? Huh? Read with me this hadith. And if you are a man, call me to be proud. The LGBT market. In the heaven of Allah. Hmm, proud. If a man he like the image he enter it and he if it, brother. And this is in Arabic, in case you don't want, you know. The images is for men and women. You see it? The images is for men and women. Let us open this one here. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market which there is no buying, no selling except images of men and women. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. Who is the customer? A man. What is the images? Men and women. What does that make it? LGBT market. Make short a video of this and post it around. Do you see it? This is the LGBT mole in the heaven of Allah. Prove me wrong. Get me busted. Mayday, mayday. Where are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Do you see what happened when Christian prince go live on air? Oh, the cats, same yo. Meow. I leave. They are roaring like lions. <sighs> Call me if you are a man. If you are a man, I challenge you to come to America and debate you face to face. The Muslim, they don't want to debate face to face. Nobody want to do it as to us. When they are, as you see, they are proud about the LGBT community. What, what the heck with this face to face thing?